My dad, John Nero, had the pleasure of coaching Dottie Hudson while she was here at Villa Jolie College. It is quite the honor to be able to speak on behalf of my father for Dottie during this time while she is being nominated into this position. Both on and off the field, Dottie displayed leadership qualities. She was the captain of the field hockey team for both her junior and senior year, and being the lone senior, the coaches set high standards for Dottie. Her fellow teammates would describe her as a selfless leader, one that went above and beyond, and a true leader on and off the field. The passion and drive for her sport were displayed in her versatility to be able to play both midfield and forward positions. Not only did she play these positions, but she excelled in these positions. She was awarded multiple media recognitions. She was the highest scorer in 1999, and she also was recognized as the most points in a game. Academically, Dottie flourished in the classroom. Her GPA exceeded a 3.8, and for a college athlete, that is quite impressive. Her studies got her nominated into the National Academic Squad, which is voted on by the National Field Hockey Coaches Association. Dottie not only played field hockey, but competed in track and field during her time as a dual sport athlete. Dottie achieved many great accomplishments. In 1999-2000, she was named the most valuable player for the third time in a row by setting school records in anything she ran from the 800 meters and below. Because of her professional attitude and tireless work ethic on the track and in the weight room, Dottie Hudson developed into one of the best sprinters on the East Coast in Division III competition. In her senior year, Dottie was the leading scorer for the field hockey team. And ironically enough, she scored the very first goal of the season against Mary Washington College. And then she had the very last goal of the season against the Notre Dame College of Baltimore. My dad had quoted saying, she took the ball down the field one-on-one -on -one with the Mary Washington goalie and put the ball in the net and gave Villa Jolie the winning score. She also had the last goal of the season against Notre Dame. And once again, in true leadership form, Dottie led the team to a victory over Notre Dame in overtime. A natural leader, a natural competitor, and now well-deserving Hall of Fame inductee, Dottie Hudson Barber, if my dad was here today, I know he would do nothing but sing your praises for this honor. From his heart to mine, from my heart to yours, congratulations on a well-deserving honor.